Um, let me just start real quick again. I'm, again, tech problems. It's my first time doing this, uh, and welcome, and thank you for putting up with this today. Uh, this is my first live. Um, so I am a professional organizer. I've been doing it for 30 years, and I teach a class on sewing room organization. And so I'd like to start these with some of those tips and some other ones that I don't necessarily share with everyone. And then we'll get into some other stuff as we go. But I taught a class on Thursday, and I was asked a question at the end that while I answered it correctly, I have a better answer. So I'm going to take a chance to, and, uh, and kind of fill you in on how that goes. I was asked how I based my quilts, because I tend to sew somewhere between um, 2 and 8. To 10 at a time. And so I have a lot of quilt tops and I need to baste them quickly. And I mentioned the spray based and that kind of stuff that I use. But I forgot to mention one of my favorite ways, which I can't really do right now. Um, I used to have a long arm frame in my basement that a domestic machine sat on. And what I would do is I would, <clears throat> excuse me, I would load a huge backing on. And then I would lay each of the charity quilts I was doing in place as it came up until I ran out of space, basically. So what would happen is, is that I could just quilt uh, one after another after another after another and not even have to baste at all. And that was really handy and helped me get an awful lot done in a short period of time. Because by having that one long backing, as soon as I had that the edge of the first quilt done, I went down like about three inches and I could start by, by putting in that top line of sewing and quilt the next one and then do that again and again. And I didn't have to keep loading that machine uh, because all that backing was the same. Because for charity quilts, I would pick one that would go with everything and just run them through. It saved me a ton of time. Now, <clears throat> There is a friend of mine that has a machine that lets me use her frame now, but I do also have some quilt shops around here where they will rent you time on a machine. So if you can prep a big backing before you go, you can probably in a half a day quilt several quilts and just get them done, knock them out, and uh, be ahead of the game. So that's the organizational concept for today, is that by pre-thinking your backing, and if you've got access to a long arm, that is an amazingly quick way to do it. Otherwise, if it's a charity quilt, I do spray based because it just needs to hold together long enough for me to bring it up, put it on my machine, and quilt it. So that's where we are with that. Thanks for joining me today. I'll be live streaming the first and third Wednesday of each month from 7 to 9 o'clock Eastern. I hope you'll join me then. If you've enjoyed this, please click the subscribe button. And if you hit the bell, it'll let you know the next time I post something. Have a great day, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.